All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, today, we're going to be installing some hella horns on the car. So in typical Subaru fashion, I had to get the hella horns. I bought this along with the Perrin uh, bracket off of Perrin's site. And these are the red Supertone hella horns. So we'll do a quick unboxing. All right, so there's two horns, obviously. And also in the box comes with this relay right here, but I don't think we're gonna use this. Uh, instructions and this bracket right here that we're gonna be using to mount the horns. So this scrim speed harness is not a requirement, but I was looking around online and I guess it makes the install a whole lot easier. So I went ahead and bought a kit. The install should be fairly easy. Um, I think the most tedious part is removing the front bumper. If you are interested in installing your own hella horns, I suggest getting some sort of wiring harness. Otherwise, you're gonna have to make your own. Um, Grimspeed's not the only one who makes this. I know Subi Mods has this set as well. So uh, just look around online. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. All right, guys, so first things first, uh, we wanna take off the front bumper. But before that, man, we have to take this off. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and breeze through this uh, removal, just cause there's a lot of videos out there of um, on how to remove a front bumper. There's literally like, only a couple clips here on the bottom and a few on the top, so. And I forgot to mention that ramps are not required for this. It's a preference so I can get in under the car easier, you know, than having it on the ground. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So the first step here is to remove the 12 millimeter bolt and the plastic fastener. So it looks like that. And it is this bolt right here and this fastener right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. Now that we got the 12 millimeter bolt and uh, plastic fastener off. The next thing that we wanna do is to remove the actual horn itself. And that uses a 12 millimeter bolt. And it looks like there's just a tab back here that you wanna push in um, in order to remove the horn. Like the next thing that we wanna do is to actually remove these brackets from the actual horns themselves. Just because they won't work with this bracket, we're gonna to have to use some vice grips to um, clamp this down while we try and take off the bolt. There we go. And let's get the other one off. Same steps. The next step would be to use the supplied washers and secure them onto the bracket. And then I'm gonna kind of leave these loose um, just until I get the final fitment that I want onto the car. And then washer goes on top of this and then you put the nut over it. So I'm gonna tighten it, but not as tight as how they came from the factory. That's just ridiculous. So I'm gonna actually have to figure out how to wire this up before securing it onto the car. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so one of these has to be the positive. So there's two sets of positives and then two sets of ground. I just, there's no way to identify it. So I'm on Grim Speed's website, um, trying to determine if there's any instructions on which the ground wire is compared to the positive wire, but I'm, not, I'm having a hard time doing that. But um, according to this, you should be able to see it, but it looks like this kit that I got is updated just because it's already, they, he shrunk right here. Whereas the old one seems like you have to do this yourself. So. I guess that's a good and bad thing. It's good in the sense that I don't have to heat shrink it myself, and, uh, but it's bad just because I can't identify which is the positive wires are. But I'm gonna show you guys, and I'll show it on screen as well. I'll get a better picture for you guys, but this is how it's supposed to be wired up. So you want the positive side on the same side and the negative side on the same side. So if you have on this first bracket here, if you have the positive wire, this left side right here, then on this side, you're gonna want it on the left side as well and vice versa for the negative side. 
uh, brown wire, you're gonna want it on the right side. So if it's right on this side, it's gonna be on the right on the other side as well. I guess we're just gonna have to play with it. Um, and if it doesn't work, then obviously we need to switch up the connections, but if it works, then we're good. Okay, so it looks like the connector this, this is from the Grim Speed Harness, doesn't go onto this right here. I don't know if it's different for the 2018 models, but um, it's obviously a different connection. I should have noticed that in the beginning. I did a little more digging and it turns out we're actually not gonna use any of these connections right here. So once you get the stock um, horn out, you just leave it alone. Um, I think we're gonna have to figure out how to cover this later on. Um, so it's not exposed to the, you know, water and anything like that, but if we go to the side here, this is very important, so pay attention because I thought I had to put my bumper back on and email Grim Speed and have them send me a different harness, but this is very important. So if you go to the passenger side of the car, there's the second horn right here and you simply want to unplug that and this matches the Grim Speed harness. So this is where the Grim Seat Harness plugs into like that. So before we plug it in, let's go ahead and reroute the wire so that it reaches this point right here. All right, so let's go ahead and tighten our horns. So off camera, I figured out uh, which were the positive and the ground wire. And so I actually tested it and they're super loud. So now that we got that in place, uh, we can go ahead and secure this down. Okay, so I actually um, ended up spinning these around so that the connections are on the bottom uh, before they were on the top. And I'm gonna turn it around just so I can show you guys for reference. So it's much cleaner that way. Uh, that way I can reroute the wire um, towards the passenger side of the car where the plug is. The, these connection connectors will actually hit the radiator, so we wanna go ahead and just bend them flat against the horn on the back here. and just bend them back slowly. You should be fine, don't be afraid to do it. There we go. Now they're flush. All right guys, let's do a quick recap here. I think I'm at a good stopping point. So in the beginning, uh, when I took off the horn here, the stock horn, um, I thought that this plug that was plugged into the stock horn was going into the Grim Speed harness, but that's not the case. As soon as I found out this connection doesn't work with the Grim Speed harness, I looked around and under here, I found this piece right here. So I took that out and I tried plugging the harness in there and it doesn't work, all right? What you actually have to do, again, I'm gonna mention this again because it's very important. So you take the harness and route it so that it ends up here. And what you wanna do next is take this plug right here that's connected to the other OEM um, horn, unplug it and that's where you plug the Grim Speed harness. This is uh, for the fog light, so don't mind this one. This one, you can choose to leave it on there or to take it off. I, um, again, the connection here on the right side, at least for the 2018 models, um, is what uses the Grim Speed harness. Now that I have a rough idea of how I want it to look and uh, placement and everything like that, and the wire, I'm gonna go ahead and cover this with some electrical tape, um, just so it doesn't get exposed, and then clean everything up, put the bumper back, and uh, do some sound checks. So now that I got everything secured, I'll show you guys exactly where I ran the wire through. So that right there covered in uh, electrical tape was the connection of the stock horn. So I just used some zip ties to keep that thing from moving. So I went ahead and routed that wire from the harness all the way through the crash bar, through this hole. And then it exits on the other side of it. And it's just the perfect length so I can get this connected to it. And again, this came from the stock 
horn, the second horn. So now all we have to do is go ahead and connect this together. And it's not gonna click, so be mindful of that. And then we're gonna wanna secure it and protect it with some more electrical tape. So we have the option of keeping or removing this stock horn. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take it off. Okay, so it looks like we got everything where we want it to be. Everything's secured, I tested the connection. Now we're ready to reinstall the bumper. guys I think that concludes the install you know this was a pretty simple install with the harness so without the harness you have to use the relay that the hella horns came with and so we didn't end up using this um, that harness made it a whole lot easier so if you can purchase it if not then just honestly just try to figure out how to splice up your own wires aside from the hiccups I had with finding the connection for the grim speed harness I also had a hard time finding the positive and ground wire for the harness itself for the previous models I don't think it was shrink wrapped uh, mine came shrink wrapped and so I couldn't see the colors uh, between red and black there's literally no indication so I had to spend some time just kind of pulling and plugging the connections on the back until I finally got some sound and um, I figured it out. So if, if it doesn't work the first time, go ahead and switch up the connections until you get some power out of them. And that's exactly what I did. With that said, if you made it this far throughout the video, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Ha, ha, ha.